So, Evan, we're going to start with something different. Uh, I want to ask you if, if you know that you're going to play for a team with fans like this, crazy like this. Do you imagine the scenes like this? No, I don't. I don't. I, I can't even imagine. No. I think that if Olympiakos wins the Euroleague, uh, you will see something like this. Let's hope so then. <laughs> so, um, a few years ago, you said that uh, if you were to return to Europe, you want to play uh, for Olympiakos. Did you imagine that your wish will come true one day? Uh, I had hope. Um, to be honest, I, I, I did, didn't think the opportunity would come so fast. Um, and when, when the, the, the opportunity presented itself, obviously I, I, I jumped on it, took it. Uh, but yeah, it's funny how it's funny how it works, man. You know, sometimes uh, you know the, the, the power of your mind. Uh, you know, you can you can you can literally manifest something into life. So uh, it, it it feels like destiny, you know. Are you excited to play in the Euroleague? I mean. All your career, you you used to play in the NBA, the the greatest the greatest league uh, around the world. But yeah. you know now you have to play to, in the Euro League on a team that every year competes to take the trophy. Yeah. Is this something you know? Uh, it's a challenge, a new challenge for you. Uh, well, yes, 100%. Uh, that's a huge challenge. Uh, something very hard to achieve, you know, win the Euro League, um, and that's also a big reason why I came here. You know, I. Uh, I'm, I'm 31, um, and, and I'm, I'm looking for challenges uh, to live big moments, uh, and so that played a huge part of me coming here. So when you when you had that tweet about uh, Olympiacos fans, yeah. uh, do you remember which game was the one that you said, "Wow, those guys are crazy" or something like this? And you were interesting to Olympiacos. Well, what? what uh, so when I tweeted this, it was during the the third place game. Uh, it was uh, Olympiacos against uh, Barcelona, I think. It okay. was Barcelona, and I was courtside. Uh, I, I, I came to watch, you know, my, my French friends, uh, Moose, obviously, but also uh, I had friends in uh, Madrid, FS, uh, French guys. And it was a third game, a th third place game, and the, the fans were going crazy. Uh, and I was like, "Wow, this is really, really impressive." And so, uh, but you know, I, I always thought about Olympiacos this way, mm -hmm. uh, always. Uh, and w when I tweeted, it, it, it was really more for American fans, French fans. Uh, but like 10 minutes later, uh, it's like the whole arena was aware of what I just tweeted. Uh, and in, in like 10 minutes, I, I got introduced to all of the, the coaching staff, uh, general managers, all that. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. Uh, so your first uh, impressions as an Olympiacos player uh, here at Peace and Friendship Stadium were on the night for your predecessors. Uh, when you entered the, the stadium, you had a very big smile on your face. How did you feel when the, the crowd sang your name uh, rhythmically? <laughs> it, was, it was cool. It was amazing, uh, but yeah, it's uh, it's a beautiful arena. But we see it every day empty, so seeing it for the first time uh, full was uh, was something I was looking forward to, and I was very excited. So you can't wait for your first Euroleague game, right? Yeah, can't wait. <laughs> uh, so, uh, do you have previous contacts with uh, for Olympiacos uh, for a transfer or something like this, or everything happened on this summer? Uh, no, everything happened this summer. Oh, I mean, okay. th that was the first time because before I was I was in the contract. You know, you can't you can't transfer when you're in the country. So that that was that was this summer for sure. You had uh, any other offers from European teams or the, only from the NBA? Uh, Euroleague teams as well, yeah. But uh, Olympiacos was your first uh, choice yeah. as as soon as you heard the name, right? Yeah. Okay, and uh, ah, you so you talked about uh, Mustafa earlier. How do you feel that you're gonna play together? Moose and I have been playing together for you know a couple of years now with the national team. Uh, I feel like I know how he likes to play, and he he for sure knows how you know I like to play. So I think uh, our uh, partnership is going to be great for, for the team. Is it easy for you to adapt on the European play style because you are friends, or you think that uh, you need a little bit of uh, time? No, what, what's what's harder is is more uh, going into another team with new players, different coach, different system. Uh, playing FIBA, and you know, it's uh, like I play FIBA every summer. So uh, this part isn't the problem. What can the fans of uh, Olympiacos should uh, 
uh, should wait from you as a player on the court? Someone that gives everything, uh, that plays hard every night and uh, wants to win very, 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 very hard. Your opinion about Coach Barzogas? Great coach. His, uh, his, his offensive system and offensive philosophy is, is great. Uh, he's got charisma and he's not afraid to you know, say what he has on his uh, mind. So, a uh, lot of respect for him. Uh, I'm, one I'm, message I'm, to Olympiacos fans about the new season. Let's go win, baby. Let's go Reds. Let's go win. And one last question. Uh, as we saw, uh, you had a great uh, friendship with uh, Matthias Lesor. Uh, we saw too many tweets uh, the last couple of weeks. Uh, what's your relationship with him? Uh, Matthias and I are good friends. We, uh, we were roommates uh, at the FIBA World Cup in 2019. That's when we, we became friends. And, uh, and yeah, we've been talking, you know, ever since I signed here, we've been talking uh, about life in uh, Athens, Piraeus, all that. And uh, yeah, so now I told him, yeah, we, uh, we, we like we can't see each other now. You know, we're, yeah. <laughs> we're enemies. So, <laughs> but the good thing I think that uh, you show to the people that uh, despite the team uh, player plays, uh, for example, Olympiakos and Panathinaikos, that are two uh, eternal rivals, mm -hmm. you show that you can uh, be in a good mood uh, with another player, you can be friends, you can uh, have a normal chat, and that's a really good message, I think, for uh, the, the crowd, generally. Yeah, I think sports, sports is supposed to bring you together, not, uh, not, not separate you. You know, it's supposed to bring us closer. Uh, Matias is a good friend. When we step on the court, he's not going to be my friend. But, uh, you know, we handle business on the court and outside, you know, we can have a, a still good relationship. That's the best thing, I think. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you.